Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? I have a knife review of a multifunction knife from Italy. This is the Malga 5. The polished micarta handle scales on this are really very attractive. This is the green, but they come it comes in two other color options and I think you can easily swap out those scales as well. The steel for the knife blade is MagnaCut. It is a full flat ground blade and it is stone washed. Now that is a super steel with superior edge retention and it's really very exciting to get a multifunction knife like a Swiss type of knife uh, that features that steel. The brand here is MKM that is Maniago Knife Makers. Now Maniago Italy is actually a center of very high quality knife production definitely. Now the three longer tools on this are scissors, a wood saw, and that MagnaCut blade. And the rest of the tool set is a Phillips screwdriver and their take on a serrated blade, right? So you have a secondary blade, right? So that's a very useful tool set to me, right? They've, they've given you a lot of functionality in three layers and this knife is relatively light and easy to carry. This knife weighs 3.67 ounces. Let's change the unit. and 104 grams on the dot. The tool set is unusual if you're used to Swiss knives because they've left off the two opener tools, right? No, no can opener or bottle opener, so that's interesting. We're going, going to have to do some soul searching and try to figure out how much we might miss those two opener tools or if maybe Maybe you um, actually didn't need those, right? Because if it had the openers, this would be a four layer instead of a three layer knife. Now I actually did test out all these tools uh, just the other day, so let me roll in some of that usage footage. Okay, you wanna see these scissors work? Here you go. They can take down the paracord. Yeah. Paracord can be tough for some scissors, but not for these. All right, these, these scissors work very well. This knife blade is very sharp. You can do a little woodwork, a little carving with it, if you so choose. Or you can just open your mail and stuff like that. You could cut up some food. You know? Cut up, uh, I don't know, some vegetables or something. Yeah, so you can do a little woodwork with that. I've been wanting to try that Magna Cut. You hear so much about it in the reviews. I wanted something with that steel. It's exciting to get a super steel on um, a multifunction knife like this. Uh, this is definitely a competitor to one of my you know, favorite brands, Victorinox. I definitely think there's room in the market for you know, more than one brand that makes the uh, multifunction knives. This has a particularly nice tool set. Right? Only five tools that fold out, but yet they're all pretty useful. All right, we got the Phillips screwdriver in a useful size. This is a Kershaw machete. So, a T-handle does give you some good leverage. Uh, so there you go. You hear that freight train in the distance? Tighten this up. Oh, it's getting cold out here. Losing the sun. Alright, there you go. So it's always useful to have one of those. Alright, the secondary blade. Maybe we can just like saw through some paracord with that. Alright, there you go. Alright, so this is their version of a serrated blade. You see that? All right, so I'm not real sure what I would use that for, but it's always good to have a secondary blade. But mainly, it would be for sawing through things, like maybe some rope or something like that. All right, the saw. All right, can you see that? This is my cutting stand. All right, just need... Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. The saw works real well, man. Yeah, I could go right through if I want. So, all right, so in no time at all, 
And you see that groove, that stop cut we made with the saw? All right, so the saw and laser through some wood. I'm going to use the spine of the saw to strike the fire steel. We're going to fire up the hobo stove. Uh, there we go, it's already lit. Yeah, so the spine of this saw is a very good tool in itself as a scraper, as a striker. All right, let's catch a flame here. There we go. All right, let's fire up the hobo stove. But yeah, I'm glad that they made uh, the spine of this very usable. This would be good for bushcrafters. Here's my fire steel. Hobo stove, always useful for, you know, you can make a trail coffee. You can heat up some soup. All right, here's a comparison between several MKM knives. We've got the Malga 6, the Malga 5, and the Campo 7. Yeah, so you really do have a lot of options. Uh, the one in the middle, which is the Malga 5, you know, that has a saw. Uh, two of them have scissors. And uh, the, ones on, the one on the right and left, you know, with the fork and with the corkscrew, those are more oriented towards uh, like a food service or uh, a camp cookout, a picnic, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm happy I got this. I've basically I've become a collector of the MKM knives. So what are my final thoughts on this? What, what's the takeaway? Well, the polished micarta handle scales are really very classy and attractive. Uh, one of the main selling points of this is the the magna cut. Right, you could think of this as a very high quality magna cut slip joint pocket knife that just happens to have a lot of other uh, functions built into it but it's compact and easy to carry. It's generally very well made. Um, the people in Maniago, they know how to make knives. I mean, I've never d been disappointed with any of my lion steel frame locks. You can check out those reviews or my fox knives karambits. So yeah, it's exceptionally well made. Like I would say the quality level is equal to the Swiss knife makers. This is more outdoor oriented, more bushcrafty right with that saw especially is useful out here and the scissors are just are good for just like grooming chores uh, nails stray hairs that sort of thing or if you have to cleanly cut paracord if you're making like a lanyard or something like that so overall this is very high quality and i'm glad i picked it up i do recommend this brand and i will list uh, a lot of different models that they have available and you can mix and match to find your perfect tool set as as we all do they have a lot of options so check out those links down there for your convenience if you like videos like this feel free to subscribe